Welcome to Pacific Pool Shot. This month, we're back in Vanuatu for the 2012 Pepsi ICC East Asia Pacific Women's Championship. In this episode of Pacific Pool Shot, we take a look at some of the challenges of growing the game of cricket in the Pacific. We catch up with New Zealand white fern Sarah McGlashan, and finally, we have a look at some of the highlights from the Pepsi ICC East Asia Pacific Women's Championship. Joining me now is Trevor Langer from Vanuatu Cricket. How are you, Trevor? I'm not bad, all right, madam. That's good. I'm going to talk to Trevor today about crabs. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we're going to do a segment on challenges in the Pacific. And one of the challenges in Vanuatu is crabs, would you believe? Now, Trev, tell me a bit about this. Yeah, uh, crab pools in, like, in Klaubibik and in Kasafil, we, we cannot stop them because they are like, we put in chemicals and all the stuff like in the, in the, in the crab pools, but we couldn't stop them for getting out of the creek run. So these crabs, we'll just come down here and have a look. Crabs just like this little guy here are digging enormous holes such as this and that looks pretty dangerous Trev. Yeah, man. pretty dangerous for uh, for filler or what, so whoever we fill in the game, it's pretty dangerous for them. So, at the moment you're hosting an international tournament and when I turned up the other day you had these all over the ground. What do you do about fixing them so it's safe for the players? You know, we, we, we put the crowns on top of the, uh, the crab holes to fix them because it's an inter international match so we can fix them, the crowns on top of the Crabbles. Beautiful. Well, let's have a look at how you do it. The next challenge we're going to talk about is the internet. Now, Eddie, I understand there's a few challenges with the internet here in Vanuatu? Yep, yes. So, if you have to send a squad list into the ICC, how do you go about doing that when there's no internet? I'll just put a police a letter and just pass it on to you and you can just post it. Go the old fashioned way? Yeah, old fashioned way. Um, and now, where's the post office? How do we do that? Mm, just to you and go. Yeah. All right. Yesterday with a friendly to our guide Explore our unique paradise Mele Cascade welcomes you to the waterfall Mele Cascade welcomes you to the waterfall It's gonna be the happiest, happiest moment in your life It's gonna be the happiest, happiest place you'll never be We have a go with no regrets It's gonna be the happiest, happiest moment in your life It's gonna be the happiest, happiest place you'll never be We have a go back with no regrets In this unique paradise, I'm too late And beside me I've got Sarah McGlashan from New Zealand White Fern So welcome Sarah Thank you so Sarah's been here as an ICC EAP ambassador for females in cricket all week and uh, what have you been involved with? 
Yeah, I've just been spending um, a game with each team, um, just trying to help out in warm-ups and things like that, and then just trying to offload my knowledge um, to them and also learn a lot about their cricket and what happens back in their hometown. And I assume you haven't had much exposure to cricket in, in the development programme, so what was, your expect what was your sort of thoughts on the standard? Yeah, I was really impressed with the standard. There's some um, really talented young girls out there and I think being able to obviously play against five other countries and have this much cricket is going to do wonders for the game. Well, final question. We've had a great week. What's the highlight? The highlight? Wow. Probably the beautiful sunshine day one. Um, but no, look, you know, heading out to Malay Village was just an awesome experience and being able to just play, um, play with the kids and do a bit of beach cricket is just wonderful. But, you know, also to be able to watch this much cricket, um, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, no, I agree. It's definitely been one of my favourite weeks involved with cricket as well. So thanks for your involvement. Thanks for New Zealand Cricket for letting you come along and uh, join us for the week. And uh, we'll hopefully see you at another event soon. Hopefully. Cheers, Garen. Who was the most fun team at the tournament? Cook Island team. <laughs> of the tournament was um, getting to know each other from other teams, especially the Cook Islands team. They're so very friendly. So do you think the Cook Islands are the, the most fun team or are Fiji more fun? I think Fiji is the most fun team. <laughs> I just want to thank um, Samoa, all the supporters out there. Um, it was pretty awesome, man. Just batting through the overs and chasing down probably, I think it was 72 runs. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, pleased, pleased with my girls, proud of them. Um, you know, obviously disappointed to not be competitive enough in the semi final to make enough runs. Uh, really, that was the telling point, really. We didn't bat under pressure, and it's pretty hard to defend. 43 runs and we gave it a good crack but um, you know so overall just pleased to finish on a high but I'm disappointed not to make the final.
Yeah, I, I'm very happy uh, to win this match. Um, so we've been working very, very hard. So um, yeah, just I'm very happy. A little bit lost for words at the moment. I think you know it's it's not ideal playing like this in, in these conditions. And you know it was always going to be hard and go down to the wire. But we said before the game. Let's just show guts and courage, and if you, you have those two things out there, then, then good things will happen for you. Uh, we are very happy! <laughs> So, here we are, night before the final of the EAP Women's Championship. We've just discovered a hidden talent of our regional manager, Kieran McMillan. Turns out, he reckons he's alright, spinning some tunes on the deck. I reckon we should go take a look. Tunes. Not sure it works in the Pacific, but yeah, Kieran, stick to your day job.